Good day everyone, this is Pokemon Galaxy 1009 and I'm about to fight against the Ice-type Gym Leader Price. And it looks like Quilava's pretty excited to go for a battle, so let's go for it. So in this gym there's quite a few ice puzzles, but they're not really too tough. As long as you know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide whether to get a, an Ice-type Pokémon or not, because I was trying to figure out where I can find the Heart Scale. Yeah, Heart Scales don't exist in this game, so you have to go for the Battle Frontier points. Which means I can't- well, I can still capture a Swine up and evolve it to a Pillow Swine, but it means I can't evolve it to a Mano Swine until later on. Or a Mammo Swine, or whatever it's called. I'm trying to figure that part out. <laughs> Well, anyway, I might I might end up catching this wind up later. I mean, it'll have to be after I defeat the Team Rocket and all, and it's gonna take a while for me to train these Pokemon because the wild Pokemon are always under leveled. And Silver to level 37. I'm still not gonna let evolve just yet until it reaches level 40. Then we're going for this full-on evolution. Objection. Either objection or rejection. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to this girl because knowing me, I just love to fight all the gym trainers first before I go for the gym leader because hey, it's extra experience. What can you do, right? Really a jinx. See ya, Jinx. Okay, that bell didn't take too long. And hopefully, it's like for evil ways in his Pokemon Platinum videos, hopefully he gets his Pokemon up to a high enough level so he can battle. Because right now my Pokemon are up at level 35 and his are like, what level now? <laughs> I, I'm just getting around. Well, anyway. He is doing pretty well with his Pokemon training. I mean, he does have an Onyx and it's up to like, the last time I checked in the videos, he was like level 13 or so. Although, it's gonna be interesting to fight against him. I mean, for the type of Pokemon that he has selected for his group, like the Monferno, Luxio, Onyx. I don't know if he captured anyone else yet, but it'll make a pretty interesting battle with my Pokemon. I mean, I know if he evolves his Onyx into his Steelix, his Steelix is gonna have a bad time with Quagsire. Yes, if you just heard me say that, I, I too pictured that South Park, South Park episode with the skier. If you believe that Gyarados is a, dra is a dragon Pokemon, you're gonna have a bad time. And the one thing that really ticks me off about this ice gym, le about this ice gym, is the fact that their Pokemon will now rest. And when they wake up quickly and fall back asleep again, it's like, are you kidding me? Hey, well... As soon as I use Dig, he's gonna go for rest anyway, so what's the point? Oh, never mind. Looks like I've looks like I've been looks like I stand corrected. Alright, I'm not gonna screw around with this Dugon, so. You know what? We're gonna do this. If Dugon's a male, then this will work out perfectly. Alright, let's start out by laying down the traps.
Okay, so Dugan was still able to move even after that attract. Alright, let's go for Stun Spore. Man, still able to attack even after the double threats. If this Psybeam was able to cause confusion, it'll be a triple threat. Triple threats. What did I just tell you? Triple threat with confusion, par paralysis, and attraction. Bringing down the Pokemon's movements to pretty much close to zippity doo -dah. Okay, so the triple threat went down to a double threat. Couldn't get past the attraction uh, gate. And now it's time to finish this thing off with the side beam attack. And it survived by 1 HP. Are you kidding me? Okay, how are you doing, Quilava? Uh, Quilava? Are you stuck in the wall? I think you're just stuck in the wall. You just got stuck in the wall again. What just happened? Hey, more Dugons. Can't help but like him, right? Wrong. <laughs> it's always their it's, it's always their rest that tends to bring out the worst in people. Which is why you need to capture a poke a grass type Pokemon with the move worry seeds. To, to cause insomnia on the Pokemon. Yeah, that would prevent the Pokemon from using rest. I need to capture I need to catch like a grass type Pokemon, teach it worry seed so rest doesn't get in the way. Of course you would! If it wakes up again, I swear. Huh, that was weird. This is the only chance I got. I spoke too soon.
I swear, as soon as it wakes up, it's gonna get the stun spore treatment so it can't fall asleep. Don't you dare use rest. Confusion? Knock, knock him out cold. When I say knock him out cold, it didn't mean use, use an ice type attack on me. Seriously. No, 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 that took us long enough to beat up the Dugon. You okay, Kulava? What's so surprising about your own reflection? Oh, part of secret? I do too. He's the man behind the mask. He's the man that abducts four, four children from different, from different regions. It makes them into, like, thieves and stuff. No, honestly, I'm not really sure what the whole plan was for Price and the abducting kids with Ho-Oh. I mean, seriously, that's... When I read that, I was like, man, this guy is screwed up in the head. This is in a manga, so... Sometimes for some stories and mangas, they do get pretty screwed up. Seals allowed. Right, I'm digging into the ice. You know, for the Pokemon mangas, I think they were so good, I think I want to read all the chapters again the second time. Seriously, it was that good. I mean, the storylines are amazing, the character designs are pretty much interesting. I just wanted to re read them all again. I mean, even though there is over 400 chapters, but it's really good. Okay, this cloister has pretty good defensive capabilities. I wonder though, is it? It's highly doubtful to part. I think it's part ice. Yeah, it should be part ice. It's a water ice type, I believe. Since the defenses are pretty bulky, let's see how good his special defenses are. His special defenses suck. <laughs> and Quilava grew to level 38. Just two more levels until we'll allow it to evolve into a Typhlosion. Rejection. Okay, so he made to Price. Alright, let me see if my Pokemon need any, like, uh, super potions. No, they're pretty good. Um, do I really want to use an Ether right now? Um, you know, the Ethers are better to be saved for a different time. So let's go and fight this guy. Okay, 
Here we go. Alright, see you level 30. Oh, la, 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 la. Huh. Okay, I may... Probably should have used some of the ethers, but... That was the only dig attack that I have, and it did good damage, I mean... Are you kidding me? Gonna have to switch for Luna for this one. <laughs> Let's see how you do with the tread that bad bad. Okay, fine, be that way, jeez. Alright, so I might as well show you the attacks that Luna knows. So we have the famous attract, we have stun spore, and of course Luna's attack did miss. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the seal. Oh, you use Psycho Potions during the battle? You must be some sort of Pokemon Master. Almost there. Oh good, it's a, it's a male dugon, so I still have a chance. I better not have said that too early because... Okay, good. On Stun Spore hit this Dugon, because the Dugon's one of the worst Pokemon imaginable. Okay, 2 HP. I'm gonna be a Pokemon Master and use some po use like a um, Moomoo Mill. Yeah, you can get some Moomoo milk as soon as you heal the heal that uh, sick milk tank with a few orange berries. I gotta say, like probably several orange berries, just to be more precise, because you need to feed at least like seven or ten. 
Alright, so now we gave Dugan on the triple threat. Triple threat of confusion, paralysis, and attraction. The worst combination you can never think of. Sort of like one of those... Um, let's see, what, what's, the, what's the appropriate name to call it? Um, the derp, derpin move or something. Or the troll, troll moves. Yeah, that's what it was. You mad, bro? Alright, so Luna's level 36. And now for the pillow swine. It's either pillow swine or pilot swine, I'm not really sure. Close. Oh, okay, well, since it got burned, wait, wait, whoa, 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 what? Of course, the citrus berry would kick in, and it would use a mud bomb, and it would nearly, well, sort of nearly kill Silver, but... Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible, flexible and not easily broken, so you will not give up, huh? Oh! Do you use the full restore? We must be some sort of Pokemon master then. Oh well, I managed to kill the pillow swine anyway. Man, this is the one long episode, I've got to admit. Let's see, Team 07. If I remember correctly, it must be Hail. Not really my kind of an attack, so... Oh well. And what do you think? Alright, so let's get out of here and capture myself a... Uh, wait, what? How are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They are talking about Team Rocket. Mitchell, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Okay, fun fact about Team Rocket. In the cancel region, they try to kill everyone and... They tried to, like... In a way, kill everyone in Kanto. They... Well, the Elite Four was even worse because Lance was leading the Elite Four and they were starting a war with Kanto. And it was getting pretty serious. I mean, a few people came close to death and all. So we gotta prevent that from happening because if Team Rocket returns, everyone is screwed. What do you think, Kulava? Should we go and end the episode right here? Alright, I'll take that as a yes, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. so please subscribe, add a favorite, press the like button, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care!